Perhaps your friend sings, she said. So they entered the next room where there was a piano. The young lady played and he accompanied her with his voice, which proved to be quite sweet and melodious. I got up and sang on the piano, Dearie, do you remember when we waltzed to the Sousa band? My, wasn't the music grand. And when it was over, Colonel McCormick gave me a crisp $50 American bill. But it was in that way that the Mulroney family became the first Canadian family to benefit directly from American foreign aid. My parents were both uh, from a little Irish uh, colony outside of Quebec City and then uh, moved to a little place called Bay Como, Quebec. I had uh, six children, seven actually, uh, the, old, the oldest died, and uh, that's where we lived our life. My dad, he was an electrician uh, for the Quebec North Shore Paper Company. My mother took in boarders to make ends meet. All the kids worked. We were isolated way up in the uh, northern corner of Quebec on the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. We didn't have access, there was no, really no radio or television. I started off washing vegetables when I was 11 in the uh, Hudson's Bay Company in Bay Como. And I started as a laborer as soon as I could in the paper mill. I worked my way up over years to become a truck driver and uh, things like that. I remember being impressed with um, the fact that in our hometown we, we eventually had one lawyer and he looked to be uh, uh, doing pretty well for himself and I thought this is a, uh, this is, this is a pretty, good, pretty, pretty good deal. And my father had told me uh, one Sunday night that the only way out of a paper mill town is through a university door. It was, um, it was a struggle, I'll tell you that. Scholarships were almost non-existent at the time. You had to do it on your own, and the only way to do it was to um, summer, summer jobs and jobs during the year at school. And I worked non-stop until I graduated from law school and uh, borrowing from my parents to the extent that they had little. So that by the time I got through, I owed money, uh, but I had the degree. My father died and I had to look after the rest of the kids and my, my mother. When I, when I got them educated and uh, got my mother in her own apartment later on in the later years, I got back into life in Montreal and I got into politics on a more active basis. He's a man of um, great generosity. He lives by the principles of family and friendship. Never give up, never quit, and don't be afraid to fail. Because when you fail, you've learned something very important. And if you avoid it the second time, who knows, you might reach your dream.